Hey guys, today I'm bringing you an application that helps you manage the ability to compress and decompress files on your phone with a, a very long list of file formats supported. Let's check it out. Samantha posted an article regarding an application that was developed by XDA member Anton. The application is called Z-Archiver. It's an archiving application that supports a, a great number of archiving types. Let's go ahead and open up the thread. The developer gives us a list of what the what the formats that he's supporting to be able to generate out of the application. It also gives us a list of the application or the files that he's able to decompress, as well as the files that you're able to view the content of. So not necessarily being able to open, but and if you notice, the list is slightly the same basically as far as the one above it. Um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is that you're able to edit archives, create and decompress multiple uh, multi-part archives. So you have the ability to set certain limits on files, and we'll see that when we get into the application on the phone. It was recently updated to version uh, 0 0.64. Let's go ahead and open it up in the Google Play Store. As a caveat before we go there, he gives us a few screenshots here and you're able to download also the application straight out of here. If you go into the Google Play Store, it gives us a small explanation again of what the application, you wanna look for Z Archiver by Ant-On, so Anton. Um, well received. File size varies by, uh, by device, but I'll go into that when we get into the phone. It was recently updated as of the 21st. Let's check it out. Go ahead and open up the application in the Google Play Store. Go ahead, Google, look for Z Archiver, again made by Anton. The application is 2 megabyte, 0.62. Recently updated as of the 21st. We'll go ahead and open it up. It has a very similar uh, interface to any of the file managers that you probably have seen in the market. Um, you have the option if, if you click here, if you have an internal and an SD card, switching between the different forms, uh, the forms of memory that you have on your phone. You have the option of multiple select, compress, decompress, copy, paste, you know, all the good stuff here. The ability to sort by size, date, you know, ascending and descending. And this is where you'd be able to, if you want to create a, a brand new archive out of a list of applications, you can say create. You have the ability to go to settings here. Yeah, let's go back here. Go set, not create, I'm sorry. We'll go settings. And he gives you a general basic settings as far as internal, external memory, uh, abort confirmation, override confirmation, using the folder archive storage where you want to be able to you know, put the file. The interface, um, icon, classic. Uh, as far as icon themes, is classic and or kids. Uh, and again, it, I don't know why he calls them kids, but essentially it's essentially just a different, different icon pack. Um, and they're more aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Uh, list item size, font size, different uh, you know background information and where you want to be able to install things. File manager gives you the ability to show files, date, hidden files, uh, the ability to you know sorting orders and all of those. And as far as opening up APKs as well. Compression it goes through as far as the different types of compression and what level of compression that you're able to do. Like for zips, it goes for fast. You're able to go to ultra, uh, fastest, and then you know so you're able to set this if you're familiar with the application uh, PK Zip uh, on the old uh, PCs or even uh, WinZip. It gives you the ability to set a certain uh, level of compression or even seven zip applications. Uh, all zip. There's a lot of different zip applications available on the PCs, but uh, it's giving you all these. Uh, strengths on a device directly. You will go back and for the basically how the interface works right now uh, you're able to go into uh, let's go to one of my backups so we'll go into carbon so I've created a backup of three of my Amazon applications and I want to be able to put them all in one zip file so I say create I say archive and then it gives me the option it by default always goes into 7-zip I want to change that to zip format we'll keep the name which is not an issue I can change the compression type which again will keep it as fast as what the default is um, I don't want to split the volume but if I want to I can split it between uh, you know one two five and even put another size in there and um, I'll go ahead and just say okay then it gives me the option of selecting the files I want to put in and then uh, the little folder with the down arrow is essentially the one that says compress. We'll go ahead and click that. And it creates a compressed file for us, a zip file, created it, and gives us the, I already enabled it to tell me when was the last modified time for it is. So we created it on April 3rd. The file size is 2.72. It's a compression file of all of these. If I click it, uh, and again, one of the features here is I'm able to view the file, extract it, or extract it into the archive's name. So I say view, again, all three of my files. I'm able to explore them. And if I do want to see a picture, I can say open. And what it does is it gives me the ability to view it without having to decompress the file. Again, this is just the uh, Amazon app that I went and backed up from using my Carbon backup. Very simple, very powerful. Uh, the interface basically does what it's intended to be. Hope you guys like this. 
I like the interface and how the application works. It works like a basic file manager. It has the same look. It does the same ability as far as all the file managers, with the exception of any root functionalities if you're used to using it, anything like Fi, the root explorer or something to the effect of that. The setup is very nice. You're able to switch between internal and external memory card right away from just clicking the button on top. A lot of the other managers, you have to actually go back and be able to go back into the right folder. Um, the interface, as far as the icons, icon pack with the kits pack and the other one, they both look nice. Um, it's just, again, it's a feature pack that you're able to change that, that down the road you'll be able to customize the look of the file manager. Uh, very simple to use, easy to understand, and quickly, uh, quickly, you know, I was up and running in the application very, very quickly. Um, the ability to manage archives the way you normally manage them on a desktop is a very powerful tool. So please check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, obviously, leave some comments, and I'll definitely try to answer as much as I can. Uh, give me some recommendations for any other applications, and also, uh, you know, hope you guys like this. Please share, and I will see you guys next week.